Today we are going to discuss the 24 week strategy for prelims 2023 that is today 9th December 2022 we have exactly 24 weeks till 28th of May 2023 that is the date of the prelims 24 weeks that is 168 days now in this video we will try to understand what needs to be done what you have completed till now and how you can proceed for this prelims 2023 so that you will be ready for the mains also by the time you appear in the prelims because as you know this is an integrated preparation you cannot be only ready for prelims and not be mains ready at the same time secondly the main motive is not to clear the prelims only but to clear prelims mains and personality test and get your name in the list so to achieve this what we can do we will talk about it so first of all most of those students must for appearing 2023 must have started their preparation somewhere maximum by may 2022 this year or june 2022 right if you have started after that so the chances I am not saying that there are no chances but the chances will be less because you know the UPSC syllabus is quite large, huge syllabus and it demands a lot of revision and practice. A lot of things including optional CSAT and GS you need to prepare. At the same time you need to be aware about the current affairs also for mostly for prelims and mains parts. Right? So by now what you must have done so that you will be able to clear it according to me right so the major subjects geography polity history economy environment science and tech so i hope that you must have completed most of these subjects along with your optional at least 60 percent of your optional must have been completed by now so that you will be comfortable while appearing in the prelims because if you have if you have not completed the optional before prelims and if you think that you will be able to complete it after the prelims then in 110 days between prelims and mains it may not be possible to complete the optional and practice test for gs and revise the gs right so what needs to be done so here i am giving you a basic strategy out of 24 weeks Keep 13 weeks kind of exclusively for prelims. So last 13 weeks that is 91 days keep it for prelims specific where you need to revise the all the prelims specific subjects in 8 weeks in one 4 week and in 1 week that is in 13 weeks you must revise the prelims syllabus thrice. Now what about the remaining 11 weeks that is around somewhere around 25th of February we will have 11 weeks 77 days so what can be done in those 77 days so first of all complete your optional by 31st January try to do it I know sometimes it is not possible some of you may have taken some optional which are wider in coverage and some of you must have started the optional rate but try to complete it maximum by this time until 25th of February you must have completed it or if you have left some then you can keep like 10 to 15 days just after the prelims to complete your optional but try not to extend it later than this date so in next 11 weeks keep your half day maximum for your optional preparation half day around 40 percent of your day next 40 percent you need to divide in your gs part one gs subject that you may not have covered by now and another half for the gs subject revision along with revision keep writing answers answer writing must be like there so try to write at least one answer daily or some mini test on weekly basis third part 20 percent of your time for your current affairs 
so in next 11 weeks what needs to be done is complete your optional with answer writing practice so first say you are giving 10 to 12 hours per day on an average this is required you must know that you are preparing for civil services so we are, it is expected that you devote at least 10 hours for this preparation for example you are devoting 10 hours so around 4 hours for your optional 4 hours in 2 parts 2-2 two, two hours for your GS and 2 hours minimum for your current affairs this needed to be done in this GS you also need to go for CSET some time you need to devote for CSET and for CSET how to cover CSET I will be bringing in a different videos because this video will become very big if I discuss it here so in these two two hours GS one if something is left from your syllabus another for the revision of GS in this revision part you will also write answers weekly you need to write one mini test like eight to ten questions if possible and one pre prelims test you need to solve so in next 11 weeks 11 mini test 50 answers of around 50 answers for GS at the same time around 50 answers for your optional and around four to five optional related mini tests and 11 tests for prelims subject wise try to take them subject wise so 11 weeks that is till 25th February what you must have completed is CSET whole syllabus of your GS if you are left with some topics of mains for example if you are left with ethics case study or topics like international relation or topics like world history it is still fine but try to cover them but if you think you are going to extend it beyond 25th of February then leave these topics for now so just after prelims we can cover them but try to complete them beforehand so that just after prelims you may have ample time to practice and revise okay? so CSAT must be completed whole of the GS must be completed whole of your optional must be completed at least you must have written around 100 question of GS if you have written including mini test 50 to 60 question for your optional and around 10 prelims MCQ papers subject wise so if you are done with this in next 11 weeks so you will be very comfortable in upcoming 13 weeks before prelims and after prelims also in uh, like around there are around 16 weeks uh, just after prelims till your mains so we will talk about the main strategy after the prelims for now we are looking into these 13 weeks now again after when after 25th February around last three months of your preparation for prelims you need to speed up and you need to also devote some more hours so let's say we are devoting 12 hours from here 11 to 12 hours so you need to divide it again in first revision you, it, um, it should be uh, it should take maximum of eight weeks so if we broadly divide the syllabus into eight subjects so it is geography polity history modern history economy environment science and tech and then medieval history ancient history art and culture and eighth would be your c set we divide this in eight weeks so what can be done take two subjects at a time and complete those the revision of those two subjects in eight in one sorry two weeks so two subjects in two weeks so eight subjects in eight weeks in that time also for suppose you are giving 12 hours so 2 hours for your current affairs current affairs must go on and 5 plus 5 hours for one subject is so 5 into 14 5 into 14 70 70 hours for one subject revision and it is definitely doable I have done it multiple times so now look into it in first 8 weeks out of 13 weeks you will be covering one revision and in every week you will be giving one test of 
once on, of the subject that you are revising for example in first two weeks you are revising economy and quality so one test of economy and one test of quality in two weeks and one full length test so every two weeks you will be attempting three tests of prelims so in eight weeks you will be attempting 12 prelims test eight would be subject specific and four would be your full length test covering all the subjects in next four weeks you will do the same thing each subject that you revised in two weeks is two subjects that you revised in two weeks now you will revise two subjects in one week same two subjects for example polity and economy here you will start giving full length test not subject wise test and two tests every week so in next four weeks you will go for eight minimum test and in last one week you will revise one subject in one day in seven days you will revise seven subjects so like this in 13 weeks what you will be able to do you will be able to complete 12 full length test eight subject wise test before that you have already completed 10 subject wise test already in first 11 weeks till 25th of february so like this you will be able to complete 30 tests for prelims you must have written uh, by then you will be have written a lot of answers also and like this when you go there on 28th of february you will be able to you know compete in a good manner and clear the exam in case you need any assistance in framing uh, uh, strategy individual strategy because these videos in this video i'm talking about a general strategy and if you are having some issues you can definitely email us at info at the rate gyanmimansa.com and we will try our best to give you some advice on that thank you all the very best